lesson, we'll be creating the battery tray of our drone chassis. And to do that, we'll be learning how to create a sectional analysis and how to mirror a feature. So to start creating our battery tray, first thing we're going to do is create a new sketch on the top of our base here. And we're going to go back into sketch and go to rectangle, center rectangle, and we're going to select the origin again. And we're going to create a rectangle 20mm by 40mm and press enter. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to offset that rectangle. So press the O on our keyboard, bring up offset. And we're going to offset by minus 1.5, just making sure it's going outwards. So this time it's minus 1.5. Press OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to project the inside of this arc. To do that, we can press P on our keyboard and that will bring up the project tool. And we're going to select the inside of the arc at the top and the bottom of a drone and press OK. And then we can stop the sketch and we'll have two profiles that we can extrude. Just press E on the keyboard or selecting it in our toolbar up here. We can extrude downwards uh, by minus free and press OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create some sort of beams going across our battery just to allow us to attach our battery to the holder. To do that we're going to create a sectional analysis going across our drone chassis here and that is going to allow us to see better when we are creating a new sketch. So go on to inspect I'm going to go to section analysis and I'm going to select the face I want to sketch onto and you can see it is cut through our chassis there and press OK. We're going to select, we're going to create a new sketch on the this plane here going through our chassis and I'm going to press R on my keyboard or I can use the rectangle tool at the top of the toolbar here. I'm going to create a rectangle 1.5mm by 25 anywhere along this sort of beam here. And we're going to dimension that rectangle by going to sketch and then sketch dimension. And we're going to select the our rectangle I'm going to select the origin and we're just going to make sure that it's dimensioned 10 mil away from the origin and then we can stop the sketch we can now extrude that rectangle by going to create and extrude or just pressing E on the keyboard again and we're going to take off our analysis by Selecting the light bulb, and I can drag the profile to each side of the, the the tray. So we're going to change the direction to symmetric, and I'm just going to extrude out by 10 mil, making sure it's joined on either side. And press OK, and I now need to mirror that across to the other side of our chassis. So to do that we're going to go on to create and then mirror. We're going to change the pattern type to feature. Going to go down to this thing down the bottom called the timeline. You can see it's been taking track of everything that we've been doing. Going to select the last thing we did, we did which was the extrude and the mirror plane is this plane here and you can see it is mirrored that onto the other side of our chassis and press ok and we have a battery tray.
Last thing I need to do is I just need to modify the tray just to fill it off a little bit. So I'm going to go to modify and fill it. I'm going to select the edges of my, tra my tray and I'm just going to fill it by 0.5. Press OK and we have a finished battery tray.